my house TV, so I am getting my eyebrows done. I'm getting them microbladed. Um, I'm super excited but really nervous because I usually either have really bushy eyebrows when I was younger or now that I'm older I have really thin. So they're not growing, they're not doing anything, so I'm trying something different. I would hope that they're going to be amazing. I've heard nothing but great things and I'm so excited about it. Um, I look a little rough today. I have no makeup on, but here's my eyebrows, guys. You see how thin they are? Oh my gosh. So I'm going to Kayla Sanchez Aesthetics and Eyelashes. So I'm super excited. I'll see you guys inside. Talk to you later. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? My house TV. Damn. My house. My house. My house. My house. It's my house TV. So hey, my house TV, I am waiting. I'm super excited, I cannot wait. I'm so nervous, you guys have no idea. So in Omaha, Nebraska, Kayla Sanchez, aesthetics and eyelashes. Um, so check her out, she's got Facebook and Instagram and she's really an amazing, sweet person. Um, so yeah, so you guys, the wait is like, has me on edge right now, like on edge. You guys have no idea. Look at my eyebrows. They're gonna be fluffy and beautiful with a little arch, hopefully. Don't make fun of me. We can always like change, you know what I mean? Like, okay, we can add more here, uh -huh. less there, so it's that's why the technique is use kind of like a darker pigment that way they okay. blend, okay? Yeah. Because some people they have like their like blonde hair mm -hmm. and darker brows. I'm like, they want blonde brows. I'm like, mm -hmm. I cannot do that. I have no to blonde. kind of right go with your natural. Exactly. Yep, okay. that's fine. I know I have dark ones. Because the ink is actually going to expand a little bit. Okay. So could you tell a little, what did you just say about the middle part? Because the ink is trapped? Um, so the ink is kind of, you know, trapped uh -huh. on the surface of your skin. Uh -huh. So, you know, I'm going to try to clean as much as possible. But right. probably in the next few days is yeah. when they will uh, wash off. Okay. Um, and the ink, as, they, as it heals, is mm -hmm. going to expand a little bit. Uh, underneath your skin. Okay. So uh, most of them are gonna get like a little thicker. Okay. okay. Good. Yes. And final results are gonna be seen um, after the touch up. After the touch up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Yep. All right. We're cleaning it up now, right? Yes. I'm gonna bring my effects in, and then I'm gonna dump on your skin. Oh, okay. Instead of putting that paper on and mm -hmm, yeah, 
the paper wads I use on oh, like larger areas. See how gentle yes, it was? Yes, that was nice. You guys, that did not hurt at all. <laughs> yes. That did not hurt at all. And any change we need to make, you know, okay. um, we will just do under Tata, okay? Perfect. Let's just wait and see how they heal. How long, how many times a day for Vaseline? A couple times a day, okay. uh, especially before going into the shower because I don't want it to get them wet. Oh, okay. So right before mm -hmm. the shower. So there's like some pigment uh -huh. in the morning, but couple times and then okay so just don't get them wet for a week right um just a couple days yeah for a few days okay whenever you feel like they you know already started to form like a scab okay or... well literally just like a tattoo guys okay. yes okay. they look amazing Okay, so I know I look a little crazy. Don't I know it's so weird. I've never really had eyebrows anyway, so I have to get really used to them. But I have to say, Kayla Sanchez is amazing. She goes through every single steps with you. She makes sure that everything is okay. She asks you to look at them. She draws on them first. She does everything that you would think like oh she's just gonna do them and go but no you guys like she really makes sure that you are comfortable and everything is great the pain wasn't really a pain it was more like a scratch it was really really well so like she said the next like three four days I am going to be looking look dark and crazy kind of but she says then it fades away and it gets lighter and everything like that so I'm pretty excited I want to put on my makeup later kind of see how everything looks I know I look a little crazy I'm not used to it but I'm pretty excited it really changes I, I didn't think that eyebrows really made you look a little different actually in a good way um, so if you are looking into getting some microblading like I would really just try it I mean you don't know you never know what it's going to look like until you try it. I never knew. I mean, it's just, it's a little different. So I'm excited I did it. And like I said, I, I really recommend everybody to go and do whatever that they makes them feel good. So I, if you're in Omaha, Nebraska and she's on 169th and Wright Plaza, um, suite 123. So, uh, yeah, guys, go check her out. She's pretty amazing. So I will put link on her Instagram and her Facebook, and I will let you guys know everything else. Um, I have a touch up in April. So like she says, you, you have to come and get a little touch up because the pigment is going to fade and everything. So, um, yeah super excited thanks for watching with me guys today i know it's a little crazy right now um check you guys later see you later my house tv all right hey my house tv so i just uh washed my face put on just uh some makeup i'm not really all into all that makeup i put on makeup um i kind of just wanted you to see my eyebrows so she says within like three days the color will come down a lot. I'm still trying to get used to them. I do like them. They're way different for me. I'm used to skinny. It's just how I've had them for 15 years. When I was younger, they were really thick, like unibrow thick. So I wanted to just try something different. You know, I encourage all women to just try different stuff. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be like other people. Like, you don't. But if you, you know, you want to try something, try it. And who cares what other people think? Who cares? Because what matters is how you feel about yourself and how you feel about yourself inside. You're beautiful no matter what. Whether you get eyebrows, no eyebrows, bald, it does not matter, you know? So believe in yourself, love yourself. And uh, yeah, so microblading, it was great. And I can't wait to go back to see her again for my touch up in about six weeks. 
So uh, yeah, this is what they look like and I'm pretty excited about them. Um, it's very different. Um, the baby noticed. So uh, yeah, that's my experience on microblading. I recommend it. She's wonderful. Kayla, thank you so, so, so much. Um, I will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Hey, My House TV. How are you? I'm looking a little greasy. Don't mind that. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my eyebrows. Um, we are in day five or day... Yeah, I think it's day five. So as you can see, do you see them, guys? So they're starting to peel. They're starting to get a little bit lighter in some places. So, uh, overall, I'm impressed. I'll never go back to skinny eyebrows. I'll always have thick eyebrows. they just amazing. Watch out, there's kids always in the background. So, anyways, I just wanted you guys to see my eyebrows. And it's the life I live when you have that many kids in the house. So, I just wanted you guys to see my eyebrows of how amazing they look. I loved Kayla. I would recommend anybody and everybody getting microblading and love the experience like I did. Um, I think it's worth it than always penciling them in every single day. I can literally put on my makeup, go on, and not feel like I have to pencil in my eyebrows. So like I said before, check out Kayla. She has Instagram, she has Facebook, she has all that. So please check her out. This is my update. I love it. Team microblading. Thanks guys, see you later.